Debug head, I reckon. It's going to be something to make, like, the tier 2 axe. I think. Oh, it is the tier 2 axe. Okay, well, that's that's made my life a lot easier. I know where I'm going next, I guess. This is, this is what I was talking about. You don't actually have to go into a game like I am right now. You just have to make it to the menus. If you can make it to the menus, you should be fine. There's got oh, they're here to stop the wolf spider from spawning. I probably shouldn't break those then, should I? Okay, let's go into this room here, chat. This is what's next, I think. We need the tier 2 axe to get in here. It only makes sense that this is what the devs want me to do. I wonder if you can get the trinket from breaking those, or if it's predetermined when they spawn them in, if it has the trinket or not. That would be interesting to know. Right, very big room right here, chat. This one says, so many different paths. If only there was a way to see which one is the correct path. Maybe mantis head mounts can help you find the correct one. Um, now, I'm going to be honest. We never figured this out when we played. We got to this room, and I never got any, we never got any further. So we're basically caught up to... Um, where me and Jade got when we played this a couple days ago, right? We're basically back there. Over here between the drawers. But I'll check all the individual drawers as well. There's the chest I was talking about. What's in it? A repair tool. See, that's weird to me. Why would you need a repair tool? Oh, I know, chat. I figured it out. Have you figured it out, chat? I finally figured it out. Watch this. I have had a stroke of genius, chat. Watch this. There it is. It tells you which ones are the correct paths. Because they're damaged. Oh my god. That is actually a very cool mechanic, you know. That is sick. So no, that one and that one are the right paths. Right, so one of the correct ways to go is this way. Oh my lord, what is that down there? The spike traps don't even kill you. Why has he put a million spike traps down there? The real question, chat, is... Is there anything down there? Okay, I guess they do do extra damage to you. I didn't know that. Good to know. But I guess there's nothing down there, chat. You can't see anything down there, right? I don't see anything down there. Oh, what's that there? No, I don't think there's anything down there. But you never know. It's all right. We'll just do the parkour. This is, it looks a lot easier than all the other parkour that's set up. Which makes sense, because you're actually supposed to do this parkour. There we go. Easy peasy. First try. Tier 2 axe is required, obviously. I mean, you need a tier 2 axe to get to this area, so that makes complete sense. Um, can I get through? There we go. That was weird. And then a tier 1 hammer is required, which we obviously also have. So let's break through here as well. Let's claim our prize. I hear something in here, chat. What is that enemy in there? I actually can't tell what it is, just off the noise. Sounds dangerous though, whatever it is. Sounds very dangerous. There's quite a lot of rocks in the way here. Black Ox Beetle. Oh, it is. That would be really good for a tier 3 hammer if it's a Black Ox Beetle. You might be right. Problem is, I don't have a weapon that's good against them. Yeah, it is a Black Ox Beetle. I can see it. Come on. It's just one, though. Oh, I guess it's going to be two Black Ops Beetles, maybe. Oh, we have infinite stamina as well, so we're chilling. Come on. Let's get rid of him. This is probably the best weapon I have against him. I don't think there's anything else that's any good. You're done. What do we get? Three parts and a horn and two tough gunk. We're obviously going to need this for the um, for the more advanced hammer, which we're going to have to craft, I assume, is the reason that they're giving us this. There's something hidden. Oh, there's something over here, that's for sure. Hold up. 
Oh, so maybe the Black Ops wasn't our prize. Maybe there's something else past here that, that um, we're supposed to collect. Put Rock Cracker on? That is a great idea. He didn't say you could use it, but... Yeah, I can justify using Rock Cracker, actually. He didn't say you could, but I don't feel like it's cheating. It just speeds it up a bit, right? But I can't hit these rocks, chat. There we go. It's being really buggy. So, we're in a bit of a situation here, chat, because I'm supposed to be able to break this. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be able to break this. And the game's not letting me break it. Maybe throw the hammer? Hold up, let me save my game. Can you throw the hammer? Yeah, let me save the game and I'll try that. Okay, that did work. God, Grounded's such a weird game. And why does it put the pebble in my hand? Why does it put the pebble in my hand? Like, this game hurts my head, man. Yes, thank you for the suggestion, chat. Throwing the hammer is the correct solution. And it puts the pebble in my hand every goddamn time. Which is the most annoying thing in the world. Yeah, some sort of basket outside that says, Tip, throw the hammer, would probably have been useful there. Because I'm brain dead, and um, a lot of other people who play the map might not realise that throwing the hammer is the option there. Oh, I see it, chat, I see it! That's not a busting tool, you dumb... No, oh my god. Please, don't lose my hammer. Okay. We made it. What's it going to be in the fridge? It's... Oh, it's a Thidu hammer. Let's go. We got an upgrade. And I guess this chest we can just use for the things we're collecting, right? We have two so far, so... But the charcoal isn't going to stop anything from spawning. So I can break the charcoal. Because it doesn't say don't break the charcoal. There's the chest I want. What's in it? Oh, it's another badge chat. Let's go. One step closer. That's exactly what we wanted, chat. Right, so there's charcoal here, chat, that we're supposed to break, I think. And now the question is... Oh, there's a chair right there. That is genius. Right, now we get the termite axe. Let's go. The tier 3 axe has been obtained, chat. And then there's another area we need to do that we need to drop down into, which we'll do afterwards. But I'm going to do this first. So, I'm going to place the ant totem here in advance, because I know we're going to have completed this area. This is a long tunnel, chat. We've got some, some running to do to get down here. Ah, there we go. This is the lint. We obviously need the tier 3 axe to break this. So, let's break through into the room, chat. This is the other correct room that was labelled by the uh, repair tool, of course. Let's grab all this lint. What have we got in here? Subscribe to Mudder Shudders. Anything in the chest? No, there's not. Subscribe to Partisan Scout. Bye. Nothing in the chest either. Oh, we made it, chat. Look. We made it. Nothing in the chest, though. Subscribe to Jade. Another empty chest. I'm Cade. And who's that guy? Never heard of him. Uh, see through and chillax. Hey, we got another badge. Okay, we're halfway completing the map, you know. We're halfway there! Let's go! Yeah, I don't think there's any way up here, chat, which is strange. Is there- can I just bring the Weevil to the, um... Wait, if I withdraw the pet, can I open the inventory? Oh, I can! There we go, we got the badge. Right, let's redeposit him just in case. Right, that's another badge, that's five out of eight. Let's see, can I go down here or do I not have a strong enough hammer? I don't know if you need a tier three hammer to get down here or not. I guess we'll find out, though. Okay, can I break this or not? No, I need a tier 3 tool for that chat. I am losing track, but we have a good amount, which is always nice. Right, this is another one of those things where I don't think we need the splinters, so I'm just not going to pick them up. I think the goal is just to get through here. I don't think we need 10 trillion splinters in our chests. I will, um... I'll pick up a few, but I'm not going to pick up them all. It's pointless. Five? Okay, sweet. Thank you, Mythic. Amaze, so sad. Okay, right, we're gonna go to the left first. Let's just hug, okay, nothing there, chat. Hug the left wall, nothing there. Hug left, hug left, hug left. Is that, okay, that's a dead end again. 
hug the left wall. Okay, so let's put an ant totem there. We've been that way. There's nothing over there. Good to know. Yeah, this maze is huge, chat. Like, and it's very annoying with all the splinters, but you can jump over most of them, so you don't need to use your axe, thankfully. Okay, so we've been that way. Okay, anything over here? Okay, that's a dead end as well. Which means if those are both dead ends, then everywhere before this is a dead end too. Okay, so all of that is a dead end that way. All right, let's head this way next. Oh, I think I hear the Termite King chat. I think we're getting close to the Termite King. I heard something. Yeah, there he is. Okay, he's in here, chat. I want to try and not get him to break stuff this time, ideally. That's just not going to happen, though, is it? What's best for killing this guy? Uh, let's go with this. We don't have any salty weapons. Okay, well, he's just broken himself. That's a good start. I'm trying to get him to attack me. He just won't, though. Like, it's not my fault. He's attacking imaginary objects. Oh, he broke the chest, chat. Oh, well. He broke the chest that I wanted to loot, but it's fine. Oh, he is tanky, isn't he? Oh, my God. Thank the Lord for that. Right, he's dead. Let me not pick up this bee fuzz because it was dropped by the dead termite king. Well, we got the um, we got the tier three hammer. That's that's all we needed. That's all we needed. I recycled the complete wrong thing there, but it's fine. Uh, there's some stuffed termites. Oh, there's the chest as well. Yeah, I don't know if those are useful. You can't use anything. You can't craft anything with them. So I guess it's supposed to be like a haha. You got trolled, and then if you miss it like a dum dum, like if you miss the hammer like a dum dum, then I guess you you have to come all the way back and. Oh, please just let me over here and don't make me look stupid. I don't want to kill the Termite King again, man. Okay, thank you. What is over here? Come on. Yeah, there's the dead end, of course. Oh, there is something else in here. A load of bees. What is it? Be another badge. Oh, let's go. Defense badge. Okay. So if both of those sections are finished, we can bring this marker back here. And that's the start of the maze. Um, which means the maze is finished. Let's go. We got both the items that are in there. We explored every single part of the maze. Right. That area is 100% done. There's nothing else in there. So the first one is this rock right here. Let's break it. Right. What is behind it? Another badge. Okay. Back to spawn it is. Which means... How many are we missing? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're only missing Thor's Pendant then. That's all we need to finish the map is Thor's Pendant. And then we're done. Right. We can finally get rid of these tier three rocks. What are we going to find underneath is the more dangerous question here, I think. Okay. It's the Mant. It's the man, um, and he's in a room full of explosives. That's not good, because that could potentially blow up the entire map. Can I save the game, or why is it... You cannot save, you are in combat. Oh, right. We've got a long way to go. Okay, we've got a difficult boss fight, chat. He's going to destroy this entire arena when he does his explosive attack, I think. Ow. I also now realize how difficult this is about to be. Wait, if he breaks the floor, though, the arena's just going to disappear. I'm so confused. Bro, he's going to destroy the arena before I can kill him. I can guarantee it. He's just summoned. I don't think that works. Surely that doesn't work, right? 
I'm just. Well, I didn't know that when he threw that off his back, it blew up the entire arena. That's good to know, isn't it? Um, let's hope the arena's still intact and he can't do that attack again. That was ridiculous. Okay, it could be worse. Is he back to full health? Oh, of course he's back to full health. Of course he's back to full health. Do I, am I actually supposed to fight him and kill him, or am I supposed to just loot and run? I think that's the real question here. Oh, that's an explosive. Okay. It's the first time I've ever seen him fight properly outside of his arena as well. Usually when he's out of his arena, he just completely bugs out and doesn't work. So, it's pretty cool. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Where's he gone? There he is. Yeah, do your stupid attack. Let's finish him off. Right, the mant is dead. Thank God for that. The question is, is the item that's supposed to be in this room still in here? Or did the entire thing blow up? Um, okay, it looks like it might be in the middle of the room. Everything else is destroyed. Oh my, what are the odds of that, chat? The crude rope is perfectly around the top of the acorn. I've never seen that in my life. Oh, what's that? There's something there. I think it's just a infected weevil or something. Let me pick up all these rocks. They're making me glitch everywhere. Oh my god, how many rocks did they put down here, man? It says thanks for playing. I think we're at the end. But I don't have Thor's pendant, but maybe it's in the chest down there. I think we made it to the end of the game, chat, potentially. I'm not gonna try- I'm trying not to read stuff um, ahead of time. If we haven't got Thor's pendant, we're gonna go and look for it. It might have blown up, though. There's there's a chance it blew up, which would be not fun. Oh, my God. What a mess this place is. What a mess. Right. Uh, join the official Grounded uh, server and share your score. Thanks for playing. DM on Discord if you have any information or share bugs and issues on stuff. Um... Wait, is Thor's Pendant not? Oh, Thor's Pendant's in the middle there. We got Thor's Pendant. Let's go. I'm assuming that's the one it means. Surely. Oh, wow, these chests are just full of stuff, eh? Five points, six points. Seven. We got eight points, chat, right? Each collectible is a point. We have Thor's Pendant now. And we have the other seven back at, um, back at spawn. So we have all eight. I do believe we got eight points. Damn, that was an amazing map, though. Jesus Christ. The effort that must have gone into this is insane. Yeah, look at that, chap. We have all six badges. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the two trinkets. That gives us eight out of eight.